Hello there everyone, welcome back. My name's HN and we are here with the V1 P7 update, the year of the dragon. This is the new battle talent update and today we are going to be having a look at everything that is brand new to Battle Town VR. So, first things first, the most obvious update, the new additions to the Battle Talent Castle. We have got the dragon right here spewing fire out the statue. We have got ourselves some really cool fireworks that we can go and activate here. Nice. So one of the first new additions to this update is the scene selection on the cheat menu. Here, you've got your very own scene editor. You're probably thinking, hey Jen, what does this do? You've got save slot one, two, and three. You go into scene editor right here and you have got yourself a brand new menu where you can go and place any props, traps, or items in any scene that you want. So that means that we could go right on to here and we could go and shift to hand and we can choose which side the menu goes to so we can choose to go to there there and we can go and place with the back button as many presents as we want so if you want to make your own little customized experience in the castle of battle talent and make it feel a little bit more homely you now can if you want to make some uh, booby traps right here, you can as well. You can put some uh, little fire statues. Go and scroll and scroll by. Everything that you probably recognize here, you have come across in the game already if you have played it. And you can go and that really, really cool amount of things. Just like that. And you go close the menu and it's all there, saved. And if you want to get rid of it, you just open up the menu again in the cheap menu and you clear and there you go it clears not to mention these features are also available in the mixed reality mode so if you want to play battle talent in mixed reality you can give your battle talent journey endless possibilities as well. now for the most exciting part the brand new two new additions of weapons to battle talent so, first things first, we have got the spell gun right here. You can load Telekinesis, Thunderbolt, Earth, Ice, Wind, Fireball spells to shoot. Corresponding spell bullets, load up five spells at once and press AX to switch between. So, this is what the gun looks like. Very, very sleek and cool design. Really fits with the game. Looks so freaking awesome. Look at how cool that is! Woo! That is awesome! And you go and try it with Telekinesis spell. Look at that, folks! Look at that! Whoa! Next, we have got the Bloodthirsty Schemata. Enemies cut by this blade will be lead for a period of time. If you inflict three wounds on the same enemy, it will cause all enemies with the bleeding wounds to experience heavy bleeding. We go and get the weapon out. That is what it looks like. Very, very awesome. It's got that nice red and sleek metallic look to the weapon. It worked very well. Oh, and it's got that nice glowing effect. Ooh, damn! Right, let's go and cut one. Oh, that was very quick. They bled out very quickly. Ooh, oh. Shit. And at last but not least, they have made a brand new transition from when you go to the church to the desert area. And in addition to that, we have also got new appearances for the Wraith 
and some commonly used presets in the modifier to make it easier to meet your needs. So that is all for this month's update in Baltong VR. I hope you guys are excited for this update as much as I am. Some great new additions to weapons and some great new different appearances to the castle and to the UI systems for mixed reality and the actual VR mode. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Are you enjoying the brand new weapons? And if there's anything else that should be added to the game, let me know. But as always, folks, my name's HN. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.